Castle Air Force Base, California, mid-January 1957, B-52 Stratofortresses of SAC's 93rd Bomb Wing are readied for the first non-stop round-the-world flight of jet aircraft. Thanks to expert ground crews, SAC's bomber fleet is ready at all times for just such a globe-spanning mission. For the flight crews, the aerial giants will be home for the greater part of the next two days. Mission leaders compare notes, and a history-making exercise is about to begin. Mounting long-range simulated combat missions is a daily occurrence for these crews. Although this flight has historical significance, it's just routine for the men of SAC. One hundred seventy-five tons of airplanes starts out to prove again that no target on Earth is out of range for SAC's nuclear bombers. The B-52s leave the runway, each loaded with enough fuel to fill three railroad tank cars. At pre-planned points along their circumnavigating route, the Stratofortresses rendezvous with KC-97 aerial tankers. Bad weather in some areas and night hookups fail to hamper refueling operations. The round-the-world route covers approximately 24,000 miles and took 45 hours and 18 minutes flying time. Flying eastward to meet the sun, the crewmen saw three abbreviated nights instead of two normal ones. As time is measured by the sun, the crews witnessed one more night than anyone else on Earth during the period. Less than two days after takeoff, the three globe-circling B-52s land at March Air Force Base, California. Their average speed, over 525 miles per hour. This flight cuts in half the round-the-world record set by the lucky lady, a B-50 bomber, back in 1949. Flight leader Major General Archie Ohl is congratulated by SAC Commander General Curtis LeMay, who greets the crews on their return. Each of the crew members is decorated with the Distinguished Flying Cross in recognition of an outstanding contribution to aviation history. One tail gunner claims the distinction of being the first man to go around the world backwards. There's deserved recognition from some very proud families, too. Around the world in less than two days, a dramatic chapter in Air Force history written by the men and planes of the Strategic Air Command.